Hey there guys, it's me the EPC6 here back with another video and today we are going to be unboxing this CyberPower PC so let's get right into it of course you cut towards yourself do not cut towards yourself That's what I do. I'm an idiot. If you don't know that, then really, what have you done? Don't take any of the actions taken in this video seriously, except from the specs and the unboxing. But don't, don't unbox it like I want to. You know what I mean. So this is from Cyberpower PC. So here's the beautiful case already. Absolutely amazing. Have you got anything down on the sides? Not that I can see it right away. So what I'm going to do first, actually, is I'm going to unbox my keyboard because I want to get that set up. So I'm going to put you guys what I did for everyone in the last video. I never moved it again because, you know, that's how I work. So cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Pull out that little tab there and we open it. Oh my god, I've never heard Cherry MX blue switches before. I believe they're blue. I'm not going to try and take one off right now. So then, here is the K2 gaming keyboard. It's even got a nice little wrist rest. So let me just put this back in the box a sec and give it a nice little typing test. Quite nice, is it Cherry MX Blue? Yeah, it's Cherry MX Blue. Let me show you guys the switch here. Just yanked off the escape key, it's Cherry MX Blue. There we go, look at this solid piece of machinery. Sorry, that's from me. You don't even get a cable tie. Right, let me on the camera. Get you back in your old little home. I am going to be doing the setup of the PC in this video as well. Strap in, guys. This is going to be a long one. <coughs> oh, God. All the comments could be coronavirus now. Oh, those Cherry MX Blue switches are not going to wear on me. They are absolutely beautiful. And then the only thing we have in here is a little disc. Who uses discs? Me. And then just a bunch of specifications. And we can go through a bunch of colour cycles, which I will be doing later, so I'm going to keep that out of the thing. And there we go. So there is the keyboard. All in one. I feel like I'm not being excited enough. Hold on. Let's have another sip of 7 up. Not sponsored again. Now, Mum calls that can kissing. I call it just slurping. Stop slurping out the can, Alex. Fine. All right. Jeez. So my blue yeti is currently so far forward that it won't let me put my keyboard down. My blue yeti is so far forward that my keyboard will not fit. My blue yeti needs a new home. Give it a minute. Sorry, you just hit the deck. It might not be good for audio. See, my blue yeti can live up on top of my speakers. You can quickly go balancing against my speakers and you can see the rest of this mess. So I'm just going to quickly fish the cable through the cable hole I have. There we go, found it. And then as simply as that, just pull it through. Because I mean, this cable's got so much slack that all my other cables have now fell on the floor. Let me see. Audio, USB, 
Let's be here we go. Welcome back to the party, Dan. I all my cables have fell, sorry. Pick them up. My bed's gonna be a mess. I'm telling you it's gonna be a mess. So I'll just clean it up a bit. Put my knife over there. And yeah, let's slide this out onto oh, probably the bed. There we go. The trick is to use the body, so we've got a little bit of info about the color matter case. This is solid, absolutely solid. I have never seen a towel with so much power, so we've got a little sticker. It says introduction, please remove the important bubble stuff inside your computer first. He says and it almost falls. You can see it, can't you? I'm in the way a bit. Shim the chair. Look at this behemoth of a computer. I'd like you a little bit of magnetic cooling so you can see I can pull this off. Put it back on. So we have got to remove the side panel but first. Oh, that's quite nice. And we've got these fun screws which are finger tight. Now, that's plastic. It's fine by me. Didn't expect glass. Well, it looks quite nice to be honest. I'm going to take out the second one. Third one. And fourth one. There we go. Third and fourth. And there we go. Let's put that just gently on the floor. And let's do that. Oh, found my mouse. So here's the mouse I'm going to be using because what well, I might be using. I should say. Got a side of power piece for the thing. Got the Z390 Mobo motherboard. Mobo thing thing. And the power cable. That's the most important thing. So there is the system from. The outside, it looks absolutely amazing, if I must say so myself. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments, forgot to say that. Uh, yeah, you can see the mouse at the bottom of the thing. That is absolutely one nice system. So we got a GeForce RTX 2060 Super. We got an Intel Core, Core, Core? We got an Intel Core i7. No, an Intel Core i7. 9700KS, so it's overclockable. And we've got 16 gig of Corsair Trident Z memory, which is not RGB. Fine by me. Already found the M.2 slot on this bad boy. There's meant to be two, I can't find the second one. Found the second one, I lie. Um, yeah, this is an Asus Z390 P, I think. Z390 Prime? I don't know. I'm not that good on my motherboards. CPU, GPU, RAM, there you go, that's me, in a nutshell. And what I don't remember is which way this was. Oopsie. Got some pit matters. Was it? Was it this way? We've got some simple way to find out. Yes, it was that way. I'm not going insane. So, top left. By the way, if you didn't see my previous video, I did unbox the monitor so left the bottom there. So I'm just doing these all up till I can't twist them anymore. And I'm like not trying to twist it anymore. Just trying to get it in. 
Lefty loosey whitey tighty, lefty loosey whitey tighty, lefty loosey whitey tighty. Well, for some reason, bottom white doesn't want to go in, so let's do top white. Then do bottom white. Lefty loosey whitey tighty, lefty loosey whitey tighty. Oh, it's going it the wrong way. Whoops. There we go. So they all want to put the bottom white now. Lefty loosey whitey tighty, lefty loosey whitey tighty, lefty loosey whitey tighty. Lefty -loosey -whitey -tighty. Perfect. Now I need to move it over to my stand. I think this case is going to be way too big for the stand that I gave it. I'll make it work. So what I'm now doing is I'm just yanking all my cables and just chucking it down the side. For just a minute whilst I move this computer. This glorious piece of assistance. Sorry if I hit anything on the way. This ain't a light system. Yeah, I completely misjudged the size of this. I can say that fair and square. But will it still fit? It will still fit. Look kind of nice like that. Slightly floating, but it's there. So now I need to plug in all the cables. So here we go, from the beginning, start with the cable that I can get. Oh, and I forgot a cable, it's actually in my drawer, which I can't access right now because the computer's in the way. I forgot two, kind of. So I've got my Bluetooth adapter and a sound disc adapter, sorry I'm, I'm not good at unboxings. I'm normally way better at smaller items. Come back to me for phone if you don't like this. Promise. My S10 video was good. That's what I'm recording on now, by the way. So I hope it's all good. So we got one HDMI cable back here. Perfect. Ethernet, plug that in. Oh, you just went flying, I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. And it's just aux cable. Because the speakers can fill out some output. And then we've just got, you know, the normal plug. So it's got Blue Yeti. Um, thingy, I forgot what it is. Something blue yeti. I need to get a keyboard. Plug it in. Mouse. And then I'm going to keep Bluetooth on the back. Just put my USB drive in the front. Set switch and now let's open the mouse. Where have I put my knife? Here it is. And then before we turn it on, we'll have a look at the Cyberpan PC info. So let's see if this is better than the mouse I was going to use. I did say I might end up using it. Must admit, it feels quite nice. You know what? I'm going to try using it. I might go for my razor. I could deal with it. Let's use this. It's got a nice USB cable. It's not braided. It's like a different type of cable. It's quite nice though. So let's unwind this. Mm, pass this through. Just some bits and bobs from my other bits. Like everything's all over the place today. Like my computer's literally about to fall.
quite go back. <clears throat> so yeah, I thought this case was a lot smaller. A lot smaller. So now all I need to do is I've done this before I moved it back. Plug this in. It says I. So I'm pretty sure that means on. If not, we'll find out pretty soon. So I'm now going to go under my desk. Go under here, I'm sweating. I'm trying to find the power cable. Oh, it's up there. So before I do anything, I see. Yep, yeah, that's the on switch. So let's turn it off. So I figured out the on button. That's a good start. What did I knock over? I knocked over my bin. Great. Beautiful way to celebrate. Knock over your bin. Lovely. Wait, get off. My whole room is a mess. What a surprise. Got some air bubbles, air bags, this is gonna be Pop pop. I can resist it. So in here we have got full guard, activate your stuff online now. No. What do you get for this? using that and then just an asus power gun nice so there's a bunch of information that i couldn't really care two hoots about but they still give it to you which i think is quite nice uh there's not missed anything well so i'm just gonna leave my bed an absolute mess and we are gonna turn this sexy beast off So the first thing that lights up is Call the Master, then you see the graphics card flicker. This is all plugged in and it should, there you go, there's the keyboard lighting up and there's the mouse. And there's the monitor. Everything's on. Asus, search of incredible. So let's see how to figure out these lighting profiles. So I mean, come on, lighting's important, right? Oh, and I'm going to switch to line one on my speakers. Because that would be for the computer. So colour fade, ripple effect, spectrum. So function insert. Oh, I like the ripple effect. I always like the ripple effect. Right, so that's me happy. So I am in English United Kingdom. Yes. Just a moment. Hey look, it's our friend Cortana, happy to help. No wonder why it's not working. Go through speakers. Out of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Hmm. Not the best of Use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone. Oh, I've got my microphone. The I? Of your screen. I'll be handy. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the windows. Control and enter keys at the same time to turn on the rater. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. I'm sorry about my chair being so squeaky. Is set to United Kingdom. Is that correct? Yes. 
Hey, hands free set up. keyboard is set to United Kingdom. Would you like to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Now we have some important setting up to do. Nice. So you can see it's not really scaling to this 1080p monitor. Have a now on. let's see what's new from Windows. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select Accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Oh, I need to actually click it. I thought, no, it used to ask you, do you agree? I can say yes. Type your email address or fur, then follow the instructions to sign in. All right, so now this I'll is I'll catch up part. with you once that's done. So, it is... Want to set up a pin? Let's go for a pin. And then let's go for another pin. Windows can save your spot in apps, files and... Yes. Turn back around. I changed it back to this because it is just flashing all over the place. Uh yes, lucky I'm probably down there. That's my notification. That's my phone number. I'm not going to do that right now. Want to automatically save files? Yes. And one... I got Office three six five. There you go, Office three six five. Hey, look, on. that's me. Yes, that's fine. You can let use. set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want yes. to use it now. Choose if you want to no. let my and if you ever lose your no. device next. Choose whether or not you want, and if you want to help improve You're language recognition very and suggestions for apps no. and services, if you want to... No, you know, the Windows 10 settings. Set up. The basics. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Perfect. Looking forward to helping out. So, also, something else to note, the edge of this keyboard does light up. It's better if I close the curtain. There we go. See, there you go, you can see it way better now. These are all using Cherry MX Blue switches. See, right there, it's blue. There we go, now up to this may take several minutes. So this is all the default Windows stuff, but I'm going to take you right away through from unboxing to full setup. So this has got a GTX... I've already told you all the specs, I don't know where I'm going for it again. How do I change the lighting preference on my mouse? I'm guessing there's like some type of power software I can download at some point. <coughs> Pardon me. You can see this room's an absolute mess now. Don't worry, I will sort it. But I mean. There's nothing to hear. This says almost there, which means it is there. I've installed Windows enough to say that. Welcome to Windows. So many possibilities. It is. Oh! Oh! It's hitched up my old wallpaper. That's my LTT wallpaper. You liked it for quite a while. Didn't expect you to pick that up. Alright, so I also put Bluetooth so I can use these speakers with Bluetooth just in case. Or use any other headsets. So let's go to settings. Actually, I'm going to go to File Explorer, see if I've got my drives. There we go, so I've got new volume E, I'm going to rename that to, nope, wrong bottom, rename to data, I am an admin, go away, now I've got my USB drive, and then there's also a reset button, which is kind of cool, so let's go to update and security, and check for updates, I'm going to quickly do Winver, 
So this system came with 1903, which is not bad, that's pretty up to date. Um, let's check NVIDIA. Actually, there's one thing I do want to do. I've never researched this. Because this monitor is 144 hertz compatible. Screen resolution, advanced, uh, that's Windows 7. Advanced display settings, display adapter properties for display 1. Okay. Oh. Pardon me. System and display, display. Advanced display settings, display settings. Thing one. Oh, I'm just one forty four hertz. Because it's currently set to sixty hertz, this is the normal. Why do I only want to load? Pick the right resolution, nineteen twenty by twenty eighty, the lamps display settings. Come on. What's wrong? The graphic settings as well. Okay, tell you what, let's go to my old friend, control panel. Dis display. Oh, it's coming up in the background, I didn't even notice. It's not got any drivers, it says, says generic, G, generic PVP. Right. Let's try doing that again. System. Advanced display settings. Display properties. There we go. Monitor. Refresh rate 144 hertz. Apply. So this is my first time ever experiencing 144 hertz. Keep changes. Okay. Oh my god, that is so smooth. Look at it go. You most probably can't see this because it's only 60 hertz, but it's nice and smooth. So, let's do the normal Windows 10 updates. Update and restart. Now I've just got a whole bunch of this. Hope you guys didn't. I didn't even get that new thing. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. By the way, if you didn't notice, because you don't have a 4K monitor, neither do I, that's 1080p. Um, this video was recorded in 4K on the Samsung Galaxy S10 using front and back camera. This is not a sponsored review. But it's quite good. My hands are really shaky right now. And it's quite nice. This PC is so cool though. So I accidentally took a snapshot. Look at it. You can see Cooler Master and that light up. I thought the fans were meant to light up at the front, but it doesn't matter. But when funny I don't need lights. Oh I, I kinda wish I do have lights like but you can see you can see the keyboard in the frame. I'm like seven up calm, it's the only thing keeping me alive. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace!